Go just about anywhere in public and there is usually a camera somewhere watching. From bathrooms to vacation rentals, we've seen cases of cameras hidden where they really shouldn't be, even recording private moments. So how exactly can you spot a hidden camera? Watch to investigative reporter Anika Hope put some devices to the test. It's summer and it's finally time for a vacation. Maybe just a staycation, at least some sort of escape. But is there ever any escaping discovered a hidden camera, hidden camera, video voyeurism, a small spy camera, hours of videos of more than 150 people. They say 40 of the victims were kids. So how do you spot them? Can you spot them before they spot you? We brought a hidden camera detector we bought for just around 70 bucks off Amazon to Bobby Brown's shop, Surveillance Plus. We wanted to put our detector and his to the test. But first, we had to learn how to use it. You see that flashing light? You look through here and it puts a red dot wherever the lens is. A red dot means camera lens. Okay. And beeping is meant to detect a signal if a camera is hooked up to Wi-Fi. But here's where the problems start. No, anything that's on a frequency, this stuff will pick up. Both detectors beeped at doors and windows and ourselves, but not always at cameras. There's some really <laughs> expensive ones online. Yeah, there are. What do you think of those? I still think, well, if you set the environment, it'll work. I'd have to go in your house and turn off all your routers, your Roku, your wireless printer, and then knock on your neighbor's doors. Hey, can we turn your routers off for a second? Can you turn your cell phones off for a second? That almost defeats the purpose. Yeah, you're turning off all the wireless devices that's going to make that go off. So if I went into the woods, essentially. <laughs> That'd be a great spot to detect hidden cameras. The so red dot seems so a little more reliable. Well, it's kind of hard to like even tell with this. Like You have to like stick this like into it almost. Yeah, and if you're that close, you can see it. That's what people tell me. It's like, I want to be able to detect it across the room. And no, nah, that ain't happening. Bob told us that even though he sells them, he usually tries to talk customers out of buying the detectors. One, because there's a good chance you'll feel like you're on an episode of Candid Camera really fast without a good reason. Two, because you can learn how to spot hidden cameras yourself. Start to look for common items. Type in hidden camera in your Google search and then go through here and look for all these in your Airbnb. And look for anything that looks like travel clocks, cell phone chargers, and then inspect it. Search for SD card slots and reset buttons. Notice reflective spots. This one's looking through that little hole right there. And it's like a, a working key fob. There's a little infrared light right there that'll illuminate in darkness. And at the advanced level, you have to get hands on. These are harder to detect because they're looking through the dark plastic. So you don't see a visible lens like you would in one of these where you see the lens. So see? there's almost no way to like know. Yeah, so the only way to tell is do what I said, look for a memory slot and see there's the SD card slot. So it's a lot of it is like lifting up little text. Lifting things. it up and looking at it, yeah. yeah. Spend the first five minutes in the Airbnb looking for hidden cameras. And if you're just uncertain, Bob suggests packing sticky notes and sealing them over any possible camera in question. So there's your line of defense, some sticky notes. Sticky notes. Anika Hope, West 2 News.